Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice to have you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to carry out categorized symbology using um, ArcGIS. So we have um, the administrative boundary of Nigeria. The idea is that we want to categorize this map um, with different symbols based on some of the attributes. Or let's see, based on yeah, a feature on the attribute table. Good. Now we have um, labeled the different states we have what on the map, right? Now we want to have unique colors for each of these states. So let's come to the properties. Now under the layer properties, we come to symbology. Then you know on under symbology it's actually under what the single symbols. However, we want to use categories. Now the categories we want to use is that under the field um, the value field, when you use the drop down, these are the different um, value fields that we have what on the attributes table, right? Good. The FID underscore one, global ID down towards the shape underscore area, right? Good. Now what we are interested in is the state name because that we believe is a unique id so we click on that then we now add the values now when we add the values this now gives you what the names of the different states now the application of this can be maybe when you want to symbolize different layers maybe different quantities that are related or whatever the case is so in this case we are using what um the different states that are in the country right good so now haven't done that we can just apply now you can see there is a symbology for it right good that there's actually a new symbology where all of the states have what a unique color now that's not the end you can also look at the color ramp perhaps if you see a if you see something that is a um, more pleasing to you you can actually use that so this is a very simple and short way on how to create what them um, categorize them um, symbology using them um, ArcGIS under the label like value label count you can actually edit maybe if you don't want it to be a bear you can just give it another name you want you know this also helps in what in the presentation of what your your information right good so now let's say abia ab adamawa ad you know and all of those Then you click on apply. You can now see what the the effect under what the layers, right? Good. So now you can actually play around the features to see how well you can have what a better, yeah, a better um, categorized symbology of your layer. So thanks for coming to class, and we hope we have um, exposed you on how to use what them, um, or we have shown you how to use them. Um, Agia is forward for categorized symbology. We are going to see you on the next one. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.